Oh, Yo, okay. what's good, y'all? How's it going? We feel like off now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we just finished up with some grocery shopping, uh, buying some dinner foods and some snacks and things like that. Uh, we should be good for like the next few days for groceries. But yeah, uh, California officially yesterday is on like a three week stay at home order. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. And yeah, that's it. Uh, let's see, other than that, last night we watched Short Term 12. Really, really good movie. Highly recommend to watch it. There's a lot of really good actors in it. Um, some of the notable people are like Brie Larson, Rami Malek, and Lakeith Stanfield, or Keith Stanfield, when he was in it. Uh, but it's a really good movie, and it's like, uh, one of the things I really loved about it, which is like how uh, dynamic the character relationships were, and how the characters were in general. And also the writing was really good in terms of like, uh, I felt like every single time they spoke, they had dialogue, it was like real conversation, you know? It wasn't like forced, not forced dialogue, but it wasn't like dialogue trying to get like a sort of like specific meaning out of like what they're saying, but it was like more of like dialogue as if like you were having it with, you know, your friends or like other people in your life. So I thought that the dialogue was like really good and made it very relatable. And I just felt very enveloped from the beginning to the end. You know, I couldn't, like, I was kind of sleepy before we started watching the movie. And then by the end of the movie, I was just like completely wide awake. Um, so it's really good, highly recommend it. Uh, it's definitely like uh, in my top movies for sure, I would say. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool. I also learned about uh, IFP which is the Independent Filmmakers Project and that's kind of like how they had they had assistance for that movie for Short Term 12 from IFP so I looked it up and like you know you could just register to be a member and then you can have the resources available when you're 25 and under it's only $60 for a yearly membership so this is my last year <laughs> to do that a $60 membership <clears throat> before it becomes expensive ah uh, but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and sign up for that and see like what kind of resources they have available. Um, yeah, there's a lot, they have like really good alumni from there. Um, and yeah, like one of the notable alumni is like Ava DuVernay. Uh, so like that's really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna check that out. Uh, cool. Other than that, that's about it. Can't really think of anything else. Sundance Collab, they released their December monthly challenge and their December monthly challenge uh, this month. Uh, it's due on the 16th and it's basically to create a one to two minute pitch of a short film, uh, just, yeah, a short film or a short documentary. Uh, just like be able to pitch it as if you're pitching it to uh, investors. So yeah, uh, and be able to like present a clear idea. And if you win that, you get like a $250 grant, a creator's grant and like you get uh, like the membership and the uh, final draft uh, program and stuff like that so that's like pretty cool and it's definitely something uh, interesting I just don't know what I would pitch yet so I'll kind of like brainstorm some ideas to pitch and then like probably record a pitch so yeah cool cool me and my brother just finished watching uh, the last black man in San Francisco it's a really good movie I highly recommend it cinematography is beautiful First of all, I honestly thought it was really interesting how they did a lot of their shots. Uh, Cause like in my opinion, they used a lot of shots that I feel like I see it, uh, that I see in like horror movies and, uh, and like fantasy movies as well. Like Lord of the Rings or like something like that, you know? Uh, Cause like they play with a lot of different types of zooms. Uh, and I thought that that was really interesting because like different types of zooms draw out different emotions in my opinion. Uh, and yeah, so like they played around with a lot of those and some of them were like unsettling But it's like not an unsettling position So I thought it was interesting how they played with those types of like things that you would usually see in different genres in a drama So that was like a really cool thing to see in my opinion and on top of that, uh, you know, I honestly like I enjoyed uh, I enjoyed the story and I enjoyed like the characters and the relationships 
and you know I, I feel like you know if you really pay attention and you know uh, and listen and watch what while you watch the movie it's it's a really beautiful movie of I don't want to spoil anything you know that's the thing I don't want to spoil anything but it's a really beautiful movie and I just highly recommend to watch it so yeah go check it out it's on Amazon Prime if you got Amazon Prime cool me and my brother are making a pizza right now uh, cause we haven't eaten dinner yet but yeah uh, I uploaded like five vlogs today so I'm trying to catch up on these vlogs so yeah uh, I should be able to catch up with the vlogs honestly in like the next three or four days as long as I'm uploading the same amount uh, as I did today and we should be fine so cool and I'm trying to play around with the editing a little bit like doing quicker edits uh, not quicker edits but like I'm removing these transitions I do with like hey what's up how's it going everybody you know in between each thing and just like trying to find good transition points uh, yeah there is one like I think my 251 vlog it, I found it interesting that like I I noticed that I do I like turn my head a lot for some reason like to the to, to this side to the left side for some reason and like when I did the transitions in terms of just like I, I based it off of speech uh, but like when I watched it it's like the transitions were very smooth because I turned my head when I talk and it was just like it seemed like a good it was just like a good natural transition so I don't know that's that's interesting that's just my own observation but yeah uh, and then I'm messing around more with the color grading and just like playing around with that more just as like practice in terms of like trying to see what kind of like images I want and what kind of look I want so yeah cool all right that's it uh uh I'm gonna call it a night thank y'all for watching love y'all and have a good night peace <laughs>